Hello and welcome to my video. My name is Chuck Holmes. I'm the founder of parttimecommander.com. The purpose of today's video is to educate you about the certificate of achievement. Whether you are a first line supervisor, maybe you're a sergeant, maybe you're a brand new commissioned officer, and you're wondering how you can use the COA to your benefit, this video and this training is really for you. So let's get started. The COA is really a tool that any leader in the army can use to recognize soldier performance. I like to think of it somewhere between an attaboy and something worthy of an AAM. So maybe the soldier did something really good, but it's not quite worthy of an AAM, at least in your opinion. You can use the certificate of achievement as a tool to recognize that soldier. What's great about the COA is you can have them at different levels within the military. There could be a platoon COA, a company level one, a battalion level COA. That is definitely my favorite, the battalion level, simply because it's worth promotion points to the soldier. If it has an 05 signature on it, a lieutenant colonel or higher, if they sign it, the soldier is going to get some promotion points for that. I believe it's five points. I could be wrong. You can check on that. If it is signed by someone lower ranking than a lieutenant colonel, it's still a valuable tool, but there's no promotion points assigned with it. So here are a few tips for success if you're thinking about using a COA. Number one, you don't wanna overdo it. Don't hand out COAs like candy at Halloween. What you really wanna do is you wanna find special moments, certain performance levels that you can recognize effectively. If you just give everyone a COA for everything and anything, it loses its value, at least in the eyes of the recipients. Number two, be open-minded. This is something a lot of young leaders struggle with, but here's the truth. Everybody does good things at certain times if you look for it. So keep a close eye on your soldiers' performance. Watch what they do when they're at work, when they're doing PT, when they're doing something during drill weekend that you can recognize them for and be open-minded. If they go a little bit above and beyond what is expected, that's a good reason to do a COA. If they go way above and beyond what's expected, that's when you could do a unit coin or an AAM or a different award. The last tip I have when it comes to COAs is to do it in public. I was once told by a mentor of mine that it's not about the award that someone gets. It's about how we present that award to the person. So uh, an average award that is presented very, very well is much more effective than a great award that's just handed to someone. So when you're giving someone a COA, try to do it in public, at least in front of some of their peers, ideally in formation, bring them up in front of formation, tell them, tell everyone why they're getting the COA, give them an attaboy, give them a pat on the back. That's gonna make a big difference. That's gonna make the soldier feel appreciated. Well, you'll see next year, and in case I didn't say this earlier, this is my website, parttimecommander.com. This is a resource for anyone in the Defense Force, the National Guard, or the Army Reserve. And what I like to do is create training videos that follow along right with what you can find on my website. And if you want to learn more about this topic, you can check out the description box right below this video to visit this page on my website. The last thing I want to share is just a few example COA citations. I'm not going to read every single one of these, but I will read one of them just to give you an idea. You can click on the link once again to get more information. So here's an example certificate of achievement citation. For outstanding achievement during the recent mate inspection, Specialist Jones's hard work and commitment to excellence helped the unit receive a passing score. He spent two weeks on ADOS working long 12 hour days to help the unit prepare. This reflects great credit upon himself, the 43rd Maintenance Company, the 67th Maintenance Battalion, in the US Army. Of course, this is a fictional name, a fictional unit just to protect people's privacy. What you can see about this citation is it's very specific. It talked about what he did or what she did, what it resulted in, and then why they're getting the award. That's what you wanna do whenever you write any kind of citation. You wanna use numbers. You wanna be as specific as possible rather than just use general vague statements. So in summary, the COA is a great tool. It's one of my favorite tools right up there with the unit coin. I also like the Army Achievement Medal. It's a great way to recognize especially junior enlisted soldiers or even young officers uh, who are doing good things in the unit making a difference. It's something that you should at least consider. If you are at the platoon level or the company level, one of the greatest things you can do is find one of your artistic soldiers 
someone who's really good at drawing and have them come up with a mascot or a, a figure or something that you can use on all of your COAs. That way it's created in your unit in-house. It'll have that sentimental value to it and it will be very, very effective. And there's a lot of talented soldiers in the military who could draw something up for you uh, right on your COA. And then whenever possible as a leader, if you can get your Lieutenant Colonel, your battalion commander to sign it, it's at least it's worth promotion points to the soldier. But if you can't, even a Sergeant or a Lieutenant or a Sergeant first class signing a COA, it's still a great thing. I've never met any soldier who turned down an award or a COA. So with that, I would love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can like this video, you can leave a comment. I would love to know what topics you would like training videos about and head on over to my website, parttimecommander.com. We are a leading resource for National Guard, Defense Force and Army Reserve, soldiers, officers and NCOs. With that, thank you for your service. Thank you for checking out my video. I hope you have a great day.